Hello, this is Tom. Welcome to Video Tech Tips. Today I'm going to be doing a, v a video on uh, PCD Manager, which is uh, um, a software and user software that you can uh, give to your client that they can control their ACM systems. Uh, add cards in, user schedule, so on and so forth. So first I'm going to log into the software. Alright, so I had already imported my accounts from uh, my panel into the software. So what I want to do is I want to first go into personnel. And I'm just going to make this very easy. Okay, then I can go into my card section, and you can see I have my users in there. Now, access groups. You do have to put access groups in. So, if you go into your access group section, okay, this is where you create your access groups. So, I created a group 4, 5, 6, and 7. On mine, you have access level is always access. If you drop the menu down, you can have disarmed access. Or always access. You also have the ability to arm it or disarm it or no arming capabilities. You have your schedules. So if you want to do a schedule, you can just click on your schedules, create a name a schedule, create a schedule with the time, and you can do a start time, end time, and then you can also do holiday exceptions. And what that means is whatever you put in here. Okay, if it comes up on that day, it's going to ignore the normal settings and just go into holiday accept, uh, settings. And you do have to set up the holidays on what holidays you want it to go on. So we can just get rid of that. All right, and then you also have your areas. So on this particular one, I have an area one and an area two, so I have a few ACM units on there. So once you go in there and you create your groups, now you can go in there and assign your cards. So you go in and do a group 4, I'll put that one on. Group 5, I'll put that one on. I'll drop it down since it's pulling it from the schedule we were just in. Let's do group 6, group 5, and group 7. Okay, so now we have the code, the cards. So I just put a five digit number in. Whatever the card number is. Okay, and now I'm set. If you're using a facility code, you can use a facility code with the system. However, you do have to enable it in the programming when you do the initial programming on the panel. All right, so now we have all that set up. Now you can just go into your communications. And depending upon how you're communicating with it, how you set it up on their clients, you can go through local if you have a PCI Mini. You can go through network. So you have an NL mod, which is a Netlink module that connects to their, um, their internal network. If you have an iBridge, you can just put it on the iBridge. Um, if you have a GPRS radio, you can put it, you know, go on the radio and you can do your number right here. And then you have remote communication. So I happen to have mine on the iBridge. So what I can do is I can send and receive. And then just click on send to control panel. I'm just going to do schedules. And you can see there's a little bar at the bottom here that gives you a percentage of what it is.
Now, when you do this portion of the program, it does take a little bit longer, and it does have to filter it from the main control panel over to the ACM modules. So even though it says it's done here at the point that it says it's done, it's still going to take a few minutes for it to get over to the ACM modules because the ACM modules pull this data from the panel. It also has it stored in the panel, so if it loses connection with the uh, panel, so it has it stored in the ACMs, if it loses connection with the panel, your cards will still work. It's just that anything that's on the schedule will not work. Okay, so we're we're done. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to be doing more of these videos uh, as it goes on, and uh, hope you have a good day. Thanks for visiting Napco Video Tech Tips.